The Appalachian Trail, a 2,180 plus mile long public footpath that traverses the quote unquote scenic, wooded, pastoral, wild, and culturally resonant lands of the Appalachian Mountains. This national scenic trail runs all along the East Coast from Georgia to Maine, or Maine to Georgia for you Southbounders, and is a potential highway for invasive species. Didn't see that coming, did you? Allow me to explain by bringing you to a section of the Appalachian Trail that passes through idyllic Dover, New York. Not long ago, a nearby resident to the trail maintained a garden containing the ornamental plant Salvia glutinosa, or sticky sage. What started off innocently enough, as many stories like this go, turned sour when the plant became overgrown, escaping its boundaries into the surrounding natural area, causing it to invade the Appalachian Trail. Now, why is this a problem, you might ask? This plant's kind of nice looking. What's the big deal? The big issue with sticky sage um, is that it tolerates a wide range of growing conditions from full sun to full shade, different moisture requirements. So it can really create a dense monoculture, a carpet on the forest floor that displaces a lot of native vegetation. And aside from the colonial root reproduction that it has, the seeds of sticky sage are sticky. So they're easily transported by hikers or animals uh, if they walk by an infestation. And then you've got sticky sage from Georgia to Maine on the Appalachian Trail. It's like they they can are running a relay race. That's Dancy to Hamill. She's been involved with the management of Sticky Sage for many years now and has worked with everyone from the National Park Service to the New York New Jersey Trail Conference and more in the process. Invasives don't care about boundaries, state lines, those sort of things. If they get transported to a spot that uh, is favorable for them, can really uh, impact the whole East Coast. Yikes. While this may seem all doom and gloom, don't fret. Thankfully, work is being done to manage Sticky Sage. In fact, the New York, New Jersey Trail Conference's Terrestrial Invasive Strike Force crew has been fighting the Dover infestation for some time now. We have seen a lot of significant progress with this project. Last year, we treated 44,000 plants. And this year, even though we've covered more ground, we only treated 26,000 plants. And there are some sites that have had tenfold reduction from 23,000 at one site to 2,000 from last year to this year. We've searched this year over 300 acres for sticky sage. This is the first year that we really feel like we've finally encircled the infestation, which is really important for minimizing the spread of the species and developing plans for future management practices. In addition to the crew, the New York, New Jersey Trail Conference's conservation dogs have also had their hands, or should I say paws, in this project. The dogs have helped us find or remove over 300 plants this year. The dogs were originally brought on board because the treatment was going well. So we were finding less plants and that means that the plants were more sparse and harder for the human searchers to find. We are finding less plants than we have in previous years and that's a good thing. We love to hear it. Thanks to the collaborative efforts of the crews, dogs, landowners, conservation organizations like the ATC and individuals like Stancy, this management project has been quite a success. Through these efforts, Sticky Sage will hopefully be eradicated from the region, allowing native plants and animals to return and flourish once again.